the biggest thing is relax. I know some people are really worried about, oh, am I gonna go in the right spot or the wrong spot, or what if I drop a tray? Probably not gonna drop a tray because you're conscious of it and you're paying attention. If you do, it wouldn't be the first time in life. But the biggest thing to watch for is communicate. You have a partner on either side, and so one person's gonna take the first two rows, the next person's gonna take the next two, but just figure out between you who's doing that. Um, eye contact, it's, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, but every section has marks. So if you can see here, I've got my start section for one, okay? So your other partner on the other side has their start section. So you know where you're gonna go, okay? So at this first section, we're working our way back and forth. Okay guys, so you're gonna do the first two rows, and then Eric, you can see the marker says start one, and then you're gonna have the end, uh, it's gonna be stop one, okay? So you're gonna do the first two rows, you're gonna do the second two rows. And so you'll receive his trays and you'll receive his trays. And then you'll both each just pass one, okay? And here's your stop one. So once you've passed that other one and received it from the other end, you're done. You'll take your trays then back to the cart. And we'll do the same exact thing with our offering buckets. Okay. Section two is pretty straightforward. You're gonna pass two and you're gonna receive two. And that's the end of section two. Okay, they're usually our longest sections in the auditorium, so they take the longest, so that's where we're gonna keep those at four. See at the start two section right here? Okay, we only have four rows in section two. So you're gonna pass two, and you're gonna receive two. These are our longest rows in the sanctuary, so they take the longest to go through. That's why we only have four, okay? When we're doing section three specifically in the middle, it's a little tricky and complicated, so you wanna be aware you're gonna send one down, just one tray down to the other end. So let's imagine this tray is going down. It's long, it's gonna take a little while. So while you're doing that, your partner on the other side is sending one back here. So you're gonna watch for the one coming back through this row. At the same time, you're gonna go ahead and send down the middle. And you're gonna go around to the other side and receive it. Once you receive that one on the other end, you're gonna send it right back down to this row. So let's just imagine it's coming down that row already. As it's going down both of these rows, about the same time you're done there, you're probably gonna keep an eye on here and your other tray's gonna be coming back from this row. At that point, then you can take both of these and serve this last section. So as those are being served, go around to the other side and grab them as they come there. When you're done there, check the back row on this side and go ahead and serve anybody that's down that back end if they have not been served already. Usually we're gonna let you know when communion is gonna start. Typically the last song, uh, or the third song, and then we'll have you guys come back here towards the end of that last song. Come back, you can uh, take your own communion beforehand if you'd like. Uh, the other thing is we're just gonna grab two trays when they're ready uh, to get started, and you're gonna go to your set station. When you're done with your set station, you'll come back and place your trays back on here and take two communion buckets and we go through the same thing. Offering, offering uh, buckets. Offering buckets, yes. So take two offering buckets um, and you're gonna be directed. So we don't, we stay back at the back until they're praying and then we go up and, and get to our station. The other thing with the offering is they'll let you know when to go back up. So just pay attention to that and wait till you're being directed to go up. Now, what happens if we uh, have a service where, say, Thursday nights or the first service on Sunday, we might not have three servers on each section, on each side. We might only have two. So in that situation, you just start at the front, work your way back. You start at the back, you work your way forward, and we just work our way through until we've met the middle and all the rows have been served. So pretty straightforward. You do that with the communion trays bring those to the back, then you come through and do the same exact thing with your offering buckets.